very horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> In the early days of the western United States, large bands of outlaws roamed the new territory. They defied the local sheriffs, and it was not until the masked rider of the plains started his great fight for justice that their power was broken. A few of the outlaws escaped, and one of them, Snake Walters, was at large for years. But finally the Lone Ranger picked up his trail, challenged his cleverness, and wrote another exciting page in the history of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Dry Lake! There's going to be trouble! Hey, old Silver! Away! <laughs> It was early morning, so early, in fact, that few of the residents of the little western town of Dry Lake were awake. But the office of the sheriff had already been opened for the day, and inside stood three men. One was Sheriff Olson himself, one was his deputy, Dusty, and the third was a masked man. Stranger, if this ain't a hold-up, then suppose you tell us what you're here for. Sheriff, if you could capture any single one of the outlaws wanted by the law... Which would you rather bring to justice? <laughs> That's an easy one. Snake Walters. I thought so. That sidewind is worse than any dozen others I know of all put together. But what about him? You can get him. What the... What was that you said, stranger? You heard me. If you want Snake, you can get him. How? You know where he is? Right now, no. Then what do but you mean? Tonight, he'll be in Dry Lake. Right here in town? Yes. How do you know that? How it doesn't matter. All that matters to you is that I'm telling you the truth. That I got the news on the best authority. If you are telling the truth and I get my irons on that pole cat... They'll be talking about us from one end of the state to the other, Sheriff. Nobody's ever been able to catch that coyote. Mister? Well? Supposing you've told us this straight, when'll he be here? He planning a holdup? What's he gonna... What's he planning? I don't know. But I can tell you when he'll arrive and how. Yeah? He'll arrive sometime between 10 and 11 tonight. And he'll come by stage. Adios. Hey, that's a trick. Sheriff, I'll go after that army. Just find... you hold on. But how... I ain't so all fired sure that it is a trick. You mean you believe that, masked fella? Didn't he sound like he meant what he said? Well, well, maybe. But just and the ain't same... ain't it we... just like Snake to try a stunt like riding into town on a stage bold as you please? Ain't it? Ain't you heard of him doing crazy things like that time after time? Well, I reckon it's the local chances he takes that kept him from being caught. Yes, so. Most times, the law ain't never knowed what to expect. Oh, but this time... If that masked man weren't lying, we do. 
Dusty, you line up a couple of good men for deputies. When that stage rolls into town, Snake Walters is going to get a reception like he never looked for. Oh, oh, there, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, there. Oh. Tonto. Uh, you see Lawman? I told him what we learned, Tonto. Whether he'll act on it or not, I don't know. I imagine he will. He won't dare risk overlooking an opportunity. But I didn't remain to argue with him when it couldn't do any good. Uh, You'll have to ride to town, Tonto, and see what happens. Uh, meet stage? Yes, then report to me. I'll Tonto do it. You'd better go now, Kimasabi. I may go. Here, Scout. You have most of the day ahead of you. But if the sheriff isn't going to take precautions, I want to know it. Uh, be watch, Lawman. So the sooner you reach Dry Lake, the better. You stay here. And I'll make camp while you're gone. Uh, get him up, Scout. Get him up. Get him up. Sheriff Olson acted on the Lone Ranger's advice. An hour before the stage was due, he gave strict orders to the men and women of the town to stay away from the station. And when the time drew closer, he gathered his deputies for final instructions. We're all set, Sheriff. Just how do you aim to handle this? We're taking no chances. Can't with a slick be like Snake. First of all, would you fellas know Snake by sight? Sure. Uh, we've seen his pictures or reward notices. Kind of short with a real heavy beard, ain't he? That's right. But then don't you worry about that. We'll recognize the critter, all right? I mentioned that so you won't make any mistakes. If he tries to put up a fight, I don't even want you to call on him to surrender. Just shoot him down. Oh. Oh. As soon as the stage stops, we'll have it covered on both sides. But I'll do what talking is to be done. Uh-huh. Mac, you and Jim will stand over there by that hitching rack. The minute the stage is stopped, you jump over by the far door and keep it covered. Right there. Dusty, you and Slim will stand in the door here. You won't be seen till we're ready. And you do like I told Mac. Only you fellas guard the near door. Kino. And I'll give him his orders to step out careful with his hands hoisted. Don't let him get a shot at you, Sheriff. He don't miss. I'll keep to the shadows. He... Hey, there, there's the stage now. Get where I told you. Right. Jim, come on. Back to the door, Dusty. Yeah. All ready? Yes, sir. So are we. Then watch it. Yes, sir. Get along with you. Hey, keep him over Get back, folks! Here we come! Oh, there! Oh, 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 boy! Oh, oh, you could have... Oh, boy! City, boy! City! Oh, oh. Hi, Sheriff! Where's everybody tonight? All right, fellas! No! What is it with you, Sheriff? Snake! Step out of that coach! I can see you there in the shadows! Come out and reach for the sky. Sheriff, what in tarnation do you think you're doing? Arresting a crook! But and Sheriff, don't you butt in! But listen, Sheriff! You hear me? Shut up! Well, if you say so... You in there! You coming out like I said? Well, don't then. I'll fix you. I'll open this here door. And if you try one funny move, you'll get blasted to kingdom come. There's five of us here got you covered. Now climb out or I'll... Or I'll... I'll... Oh, golly. Sheriff, what's the matter? If I ever get my hands on that masked man, I'll wring his doggone neck. Well, I the... tried to tell you, Sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> Never on all my born days. Oh, I... my gosh. It's a woman. You say only a woman got off that stage, Teller? Not right. But I know Snake planned to come. Uh-huh. What happened? <laughs> Her tell lawman plenty. <laughs> I wager she did. <laughs> tell her I still don't understand it. It heap funny, huh? You know how I learned that Snake was coming to Dry Lake by that stage? Don't you, Tonto? Uh-huh. You not tell Tonto. Didn't I? Well, I got it from Snake himself. Oh, him tell you? Yes, but he wasn't aware of it. How that? Remember Whitey Lane? Oh, him bad feller. Well, when I caught him over at Wheeling last month, I searched him first before I turned him over to the law. Oh. He was carrying a note that had been sent him by Snake. He and Snake had been known to work together on quite a number of occasions. Not right. 
That note told Whitey exactly what I told Sheriff Olson. Ah. Uh-huh. Whitey was to meet him here. Whitey can't now, of course, because he's in jail. But nevertheless, those were Snake's plans. Why you not tell law then? I destroyed the note and said nothing because I was afraid someone might talk and Snake would be warned. Oh. By waiting until the last day to tell the authorities, it seemed impossible that Snake could learn his plans were known. Ah. Uh-huh. And I have never heard of Snake changing plans unless he had good reason. Which in this case, he didn't have. Not right. He couldn't even have learned that Whitey was in jail. The sheriff at Wheeling is holding him there under another name to prevent a lynching. Oh. And yet, somehow, it seems as if Snake must have known what was waiting for him at Dry Lake. Well, in that case, Kimosabe, there's just one thing for us to do. And what that? Find out what went wrong. Here, Silver. You ride? We both ride. Uh-huh. Here, Scout. Where go? We're going to back trail the stage. Hip. Ready? Uh-huh. Let's go. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Oh, Silver, away! It was three days later that Sheriff Olsen and Dusty rode slowly back to town after an unsuccessful attempt to locate the Lone Ranger. Well, there's the town, Sheriff. You ready to quit hunting that masked man or do we have to ride out again tomorrow? Me, I'm getting tired of it. Found his camp, didn't we? Well, maybe, I don't know. We found a camp, sure. Don't prove it was his and sure it was. Seen the prince left with that one horse, didn't you? Uh-huh. Well, you know of any horse outside of that white and he rides with a stride like them prince showed? Not offhand. Well, then. Don't make no difference anyhow. That camp was an old one. Hadn't been used for a couple of days. He could still be close by. Oh, now, listen, Sheriff. Listen to reason, won't you? Forget that hombre. You know what's bothering you? What? You're just all riled about the way that woman got off the stage the other night give you a talking to. <laughs> it was a dandy at that. Oh, now. <laughs> Your ears was burning so they almost lit up the whole town. <laughs> uh, well, would you like it if somebody made a fool out of you like that? No, nope, but I wouldn't go traipsing all over the county to get even when it wasn't doing me no good. Well, I'll find that gent sometime. When I do, I'll... Hey, what is... Sheriff, what's going on there by the bank? Huh? Well, I'll be switched. Looks like the whole town's there. Looks like a holdup. Come on. Get up. Get, get up, up fella. Get along with you. The bank's been off. There's the get sheriff. Up. Get up. Now. Get it. Hey, right, get it. Give me a quick. There's Banker Judson. Looks fit to bust. We're coming. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, hold oh, on. Oh, what's happened, Judson? That bank's been robbed. It was robbed of $5,000. Who done it? How do I know? You want to find out, why don't you go after him and bring him back? It just happened? Five minutes ago. Which way did the crook go? Out the back way. He said if we followed, he'd drill us. Come on, Dusty. Come along, Judson. Right. Follow me. We'll find him. That's the way he went. Out that back door there. Uh, we'll see which way his trail leads and get our horses. Maybe he ain't cleared out yet. Maybe he's just waiting to drill us. Oh, don't act like an idiot. Dusty, open up the door. Right. I told you. I told you. Huh? Yeah, behind that shed, I saw him. I saw him move back out of sight. You, you sure? I seen something too, Sheriff. Come on. Whoever you are hiding behind that shed, show yourself and we'll fire clean through it. Come on. Step out here. Don't you dare fire. Don't you dare. Oh, Don't. you again. Miss Crumpet, do you always have to get where there's liable to be gunplay? Well, I like that. Seems to me, Sheriff Olson, take me at fault, it's you. Ask you what she's doing back here. Can't anybody come to see what all the excitement's about? Oh, forget it, Judson. Dusty, go fetch our horses. Right now. And ma'am. Well? Try doing me one favor. Eh? When I'm hunting crooks, gosh, all hemlock, just stay out of my way. <laughs> curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. On the same day that the bank robbery occurred at Dry Lake, the Lone Ranger and Tonto were heading for town. We've got the answer to this affair, Tonto. Ah. I should have seen the truth before, but it seems so impossible that it never entered my head. Make him heap clever. This is once that his cleverness will do him no good. Uh-huh. We'll reach town sometime around midnight. That right. And when we get there, the sheriff is going to have his opportunity to jail Snake after all. Come, Tonto, let's make better time. Uh-huh. Get him up, Skull. Come on, Silver. Come on. <laughs> Neither the sheriff nor his men had been able to pick up the hold-up man's trail. And banker Judson called at the lawman's office to express his indignation. So, you haven't found hiding a hair of him? Uh, we haven't given up yet, Mr. Judson. It sure looks like it to me. What are you sitting behind your desk for, if you haven't given up? Dusty's rounding up all the suspicious characters in town, bringing them here. I'm going to question them. Question them? Yeah. Uh, we've covered every trail leading out of town, right... Ain't no fresh tracks anywhere. Stands to reason it was somebody right here who held you up. Who? I, I don't know who. That's a fine admission for an officer of the law to make. He only had five minutes start on you. Five minutes start with $5,000 of my money and you let him get clean away. I've had plenty to say about the way you've handled this robbery, Sheriff. And what I've said to other people, I don't mind saying to your face. This community pays your salary. And we expect protection in return. So what do we get? Well, I'm doing the best I can. It isn't good enough. You can't think fast enough, ride fast enough, or shoot fast enough. When election time comes around, you can bet your bottom dollar there's going to be some changes made. All right. But until then, I'm the sheriff of this county. And nobody tells me how to run my business. You're a servant of the taxpayer. Oh, get out. Not till I've finished. It's bad enough to let a crook make a clean getaway. When you have to take it out on a poor old lady and scare her half to death, I say that's the last straw. You're a disgrace to the West, that's what you are. Any man that deserves the name has got a decent respect for women. You can't that. blame me because Miss Crumpet's gotten away. Pulling the gun on the poor defenseless old lady. Well, Dusty? Where's your suspicious characters? I got them all rounded up, Mr. Judson. Every single one of them was in the cafe when the hold-up took place. Bartender swore to it. So you're just where you started. Nowhere. A fine sheriff, a fine deputy. Something's going to be done about this, mark my words. Uh, but, Mr. Judson. Boss, we sure got ourselves in bed. The whole town saw at us. Miss Crumpet's been standing out in front of the store and telling everybody this is the worst run county west of the Mississippi. Says she's clearing out of Dry Lake the first chance she gets. Huh? You mean that? She's leaving on the stage tonight. <laughs> Dusty, that's the first piece of good news I've had today. I'm going to be down at the station to see her off myself. So you're really leaving us, ma'am. It'll be a pleasure. It's no hard feelings, is there? Explained about that night you come here, didn't I? You did. Can't blame me for having you covered when I figured you was a desperate criminal like Snake Walters, can you? Any sheriff that's blind ought to be wearing a badge. Uh, it, it was dark. Well, I'm not asking you to apologize. Well, I didn't want you to go away thinking Dry Lake was the kind of town that didn't know how to treat its women folks, ma'am. Never mind. Fly me in, everybody that's going. We're just about ready to start. Well, that's it, I reckon. Yeah, I'll help you in. Getting in ahead of the others, you can choose any seat you want. Thank you. You're more of a gentleman than I'd suppose. Oh, oh, oh. Shucks, I ain't so bad when you get to know me. Uh, any of your baggage you want inside with you? Please, uh, if you'll hand me that police. Why, sure. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, what's in it? Kind of heavy. That's my business. Sorry, ma'am. Just making conversation. All set? For just a second, driver. Others getting in. Well, goodbye. All right, Pete. Let her rip. Get up there. Get up. Get on with her. Get up there. Goodbye, Miss Crumpet. Goodbye. Get up there. Huh? Oh, howdy, Dusty. Well, <laughs> she's out of town, Dusty. 
Got that much bad luck out of the way, anyhow. <laughs> Ever see such a holy terror as she was? <laughs> she topped them all. Wonder what she was doing in town. Ever see? <laughs> Looking for a nephew she heard was around. Didn't find him, though. Reckon she got a bum steer. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Huh? Almost forgot what it come for. Fell across the street in the office to see you, Sheriff. A redskin. Uh, what do you want? Uh, didn't say. Just told me he had to see you. Well, uh, come along. I'll find out what's on his mind. I reckon I'll mosey along to bed. Oh, had a hard day. Gets me what happened to that skunk that robbed the bank. Yeah, I don't even want to talk about him. Heard enough on that score from Judson already. Uh, pretty mad, huh? Fit to bust. Can't blame him much. But don't know what I can do. Can't trail anybody unless they leave some signs. Uh-uh. Where's that redskin you said was here, Dusty? Why, he was here. Left him sitting right... He's gone. I'm here what? instead. What? The mash man! Of all the doggone uh, I'd like to fill you so plumb full of holes, mister. You'd look like a mouth organ. Yes? You made me the laughing stock of the whole county. Because you didn't capture a snake? And because on account of you, I had four fellas drawing beads on what turned out to be just a woman. You... Hey, Dusty. Huh? The bank robber. The fellow that stole Judson's 5000 I'll bet it was this polecat here. I'll bet it was. There's been a holdup. You pretended not to know it. It's news to me. Why, you... And if there was a holdup, Sheriff, you can bank on it. Snake was responsible. Maybe you're Snake. I think you know better than that. How do I know? How do I know the change? Oh, he ain't the same bill. You know that, Sheriff. Well, they could be partners, couldn't they? Sheriff, I don't blame you for not trusting me after what happened before. You never... Wait. But if you think I'm a partner of Snake's, I'll prove I'm not by helping you get him. I heard that before. Do you want him or not? Of course I do, but how... Then come along and we'll get him. Sheriff, we ain't getting no place by ourselves. Why not give it a try? Not till I know where we're going. Where's the passenger who arrived on the stage the day I saw you? You you mean Miss Crumpet? Is that the name? Uh, she's left. She left by the stage just now. What's that? And that's the only good thing that's happened to me in the whole last month. And Sheriff Snake's on that stage. Huh? Come along. We've got to catch it. Mister, you just hold on a second. You're wasting time. Uh-huh. By listening to you. I don't... You told me Snake was on that stage before. And now you're giving me that same story all over again. But this time, mister, there's a difference. Yes? This time, I ain't biting. You mean you're not coming? You're letting Snake escape? I mean... Nobody makes a fool out of me twice the same way. Sheriff, hey? you just think you're not coming. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Stand back. Hey, leave that alone. It's the county cash box. And if you want it, Sheriff, come and get it. All that money. Right out from under our noses. If he gets away with this, then we'll be laughed right out of office. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Well, he ain't. Get to the saddle. Right. Hey, I want a posse. After them two fellas. The engine and the mask man. Everybody can ride. Get to the saddle. There's two crooks in this county who won't get away. Come on. Get to the Careful not to ride too fast. We've got to let them keep us in sight so they'll not get discouraged and turn back. Uh, we should see the stage before long. There's plenty of light by this moon. What path? Where? There, this side hill. Hey. Fellow, that's it. Uh, come on, Silver, come on. <laughs> Not long before the stage driver heard a shout. Took one look, then whipped up his horses. Outlaws! Get up! Get up there! Get along! Get up there! Get along there! You get along! Get up there! Hold up there! Get away! You ain't holding this stage up! Get away! Pull up to my fire! Get up! Get up there! Come on! Now come it! My next shot won't miss! Then hold your fire! One of your passengers. You can't do that. You look. The posse. They'll get you two. Then plenty close. Then hit us. Tutter, we haven't a chance to explain. They're primed to shoot and get their explanations afterwards. Uh-huh. So leave this to me. Take cover behind the stage. Uh, stay with you. Do as I say. Stay I know what I'm doing, Kimasabi. I'll be in no danger. Hurry. They're getting close. Go on. Uh-huh. One move to drive away and I'll blast you out of that seat. Drive away? You couldn't make me. I'm staying to see you get yours. There he is, fellas. Get the floor, 
Yeah. No, you don't. What are you doing? You was just pretending. The masked man ain't wounded at all. I pretended to be hit to stop your fire. One move from any of these men, Sheriff, and I'll let you have it. He means it, fellas. Put up your guns. Uh, Tonto. Uh, drag Snake out of the stage. Let me get him. You're making the same mistake you made before. We'll see who made the mistake. Let's get you. Let let me go. You come. You'll pay for this, Indian. Bring him here. Uh-huh. You get him. Now then, Sheriff. Look now. No. What? What in thunder? Hey. That's a wig you grabbed off her head. His head. Now what? Tuck your hands off me. Just get some of this paint and powder off your face, Snake. Tuck your hands off me. Let go. And see what you look like. Dog gone, Sheriff. It is Snake. It's Snake with his beard shaved off. And dressed in the clothes of a woman. Blast you for spoiling things. I was getting clean away. But now, Snake, you'll hang. And that's how the bank robber got away so slick. Snake run from the bank... Chains into them women's duds and come back pretending to be Miss Crumpet. Sure. I was certain before that Snake was on the stage. I was thrown off the trail just as you were, Sheriff, when I learned a woman had arrived instead. But I checked back and found the place where Snake had bought his stage ticket posing as a woman. Then learned the name of the town he mentioned as his home. When Tonto and I rode there, we learned no such woman was known. <laughs> that valise. The valise I put in the stage for him. I'll bet it's got the cash from the bank in it. That's why it felt so doggone heavy. <laughs> and you helped Snake with it. <laughs> You'll find the cash box I took on the driver's seat of the stage, Sheriff. I brought it along just to make sure you'd follow. I guess since I've seen you first, Mask Man, uh, I've been about a thousand different kinds of a fool. <laughs> Which just goes to show, Sheriff, huh? <laughs> that you can't be too careful around a lady. <laughs> Get him up! Oh. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>